It's like, it's like something out of this world. So do you remember in a couple of episodes ago, <laughs> there was this man with a disease it's just next to me right now. I don't have the disease, I'm, I'm cured, I'm healed. He, he, he submitted his letter from the GP and today me and him are going for adventure. And also I need to pay back because that was not nice. From, from this point on, there is a small colony of Adventist boaters. What was your boat leaning, Sam? Yeah. So for those who are not boaters, just to let you know, this is how it looks like when the water levels drop. Fine, is it moving? Yeah. Okay, I'm talking rubbish. And going back to my theory, you see, when I when I step, the boat should move. Why? Because I'm slightly overweight. You can fall off your bed because the boat leans on one side uh, because of the you you know there is a curve going down towards the deeper part of the canal. You hear that? Yes. That's not good. And then, today's mission is to get water for Sam. Many of you ask, you know, where do you get water? I'm too fat, I need to get off the boat. We're back in action. There we go. We're in. So on a canal, you have a massive reservoir of water, which you fill up at the water points and we are going to one of the water points. And Sam, he's a captain. <laughs> Sorry. Get out of my way. It's Ronnie's boat. Ronnie doesn't actually live on his boat. I never actually see him. Maybe one day next year, he might actually live on his boat. lived on the canal for, was it three years? Three years. Three years. One day when I grow up, I'll be back on the canal. Really? Yes. You think so? This is the area my wife and myself lived at least four or five times. This is Cassidy Park in Watford and we had a great time in this area. It's actually a nature reserve, so it's really, really peaceful. And, and on that band there, that's where I was rebuilding my boat. It took me a year and a half, and the boat is coming towards us right now. That's like 40 years in boat. Sam, a year and a half was really painful, and I gave up 50 times in my head. <laughs> I cried once, just to let you know, that's how painful it was. Uh, Sam, there is a boat coming. You take over now, because you know this boat better. Uh, when you see like a tree going in the water like this and you think that's such a beautiful thing for the boaters that means that underneath there could be a really serious problem for the boat uh, uh, so in england boats are cruising on the right hand side like it's the wrong side to be honest the wrong side, the wrong uh, side. and the cars go on left so if you're really british you can die for carrying stuff. Hurting us. How's it going? Hi. I love this boat. This is a water point. This is where you co co connect your, your hose and then you just uh, unhook there. And this is actually protected by key, but this one here, particularly in Casterbury, if you're thirsty, is never locked. If you don't know what this is, uh, that means you're very privileged. <laughs> Sam, what, what is this? What is this? So, so these are basically water purifying tablets. So you put them where? I put them in the water tank. Okay. Um, and they, they basically make the water fairly clean. I wouldn't drink it, but it's clean enough to shower, to, to wash up, and uh, to take all kinds of diseases out of the water that might be there. Who knows? Just to let you know, majority of boaters don't put water tablets for showering, just to let you know. But Sam, it's a different level of clean cleanliness. Well, obviously, you need to have clean water to shower. It's clear. It's coming from Watford pipeline. Do you trust that? Of course, Watford Light pipeline is the cleanest water you have in England. Uh, 
Uh, that guy we just met, his name is Daryl, and, and Daryl is somebody who walks on canals all the time. So when I lived here, uh, that's that's where I met Daryl, and I met him one day. You know, I, was, I was I was just building it at that stage. Daryl popped his head through the door. He looked at it. And he said, "Oh, this is amazing." And I said, "Oh, Daryl, I have these problems and these problems." And Daryl said, "Then don't worry, everything is gonna be all right." I left that day encouraged. I went to my wife and said, "This guy came to me and said it's gonna be all right," and it meant the world to me. Sam likes his long stick, just to let you know. He's panicking at the moment, but everything is under control. 